oh my gosh, I just can't believe that Matt has basically come out with all their Disney limited edition Disney collections. I'm totally freaking out right now. Who all remembers the hype around the Disney Aladdin collection when the movie Aladdin came out and Mac came out with this limited edition collection in 2019? I purchased almost every product from that collection from all the three lip shades to the bronzer to the highlighter and also the little Mac rose tint as well. I also had the gloss but um, unfortunately I finished all the products and I am so excited that they bought all the Disney collections back but um, they basically came out with three of the Disney collections. So basically Mac resurrected the Maleficent, the Cinderella and the Disney Aladdin collection. So I am just, when I saw the post on Instagram, I freaked out. I was like, am I seeing an old post from Insta or is my Instagram glitched? I couldn't believe my eyes. So you guys know that I had to do this video because long story short, I still have few products from the old Disney Aladdin collection and I am making this video for you guys who have not bought these lipsticks or have not bought anything from this collection so, and I must say that back in 2019 I got these lip shades and they're still with me. I know it sounds gross but uh, the lipsticks are still fresh and um, I've not used them much. I've stored them really well but MAC lipsticks never fail you. I must say that there are few lipsticks that I've bought even before the Disney Aladdin collection and they still smell like vanilla. They still smell like MAC lipsticks. I just wanted to make this video because I'm really excited to make this video and I just wanted to swatch these three shades for you guys because guys please get these shades. These shades are really unique if you guys haven't tried it and I'm so excited that it's just all over my face that I'm really excited because these shades are so unique. I couldn't find a dupe of these shades. These shades are so pretty that I really want you guys to try this and buy it when you get the chance to do so. These are the lipsticks from the MAC Disney Aladdin's collection and they have come out with the same packaging. They've not changed anything and um, I have three shades, like all the three shades from the collection. The first shade is Princess Incognito. So I'm going to be swatching the shade on my hand. So this shade is... So this shade is a really nice light pink nude color. These lip shades still smell so fresh. That's why I love buying MAC lipsticks. I think when it comes to the longevity of the products, like how long your makeup is going to last, I think MAC and a few other brands, I can say that their makeup has lasted me a really long time. So yes, they are value for money. I have a few stories behind this shade. I was not going to get this shade Princess Incognito when I bought it back in 2019 because this shade was really light for my skin back then. I was really tanned. I was a bit more tanned than I am as of now. But this shade was like my first pink nude lip shade now as well you can see that i can just pull it off without a lip liner as well and i've not worn this shade since a really really long time and this is what i love about mac limited edition collections that they have just so much meaning behind each collection it's always trendy so the next shade is a whole new world i can just think about the song when Jasmine and Aladdin are like on the magic carpet and they're singing this song and you know whenever I read the word a whole new world the song just starts playing in my head and I love this color it's such a pretty fuchsia pink color I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand and I'm gonna show you guys then I'm gonna swatch it on my lips it's such a beautiful fuchsia pink color you times the fuchsia pink colors like are very warm but Based on this color, it's a really cool toned fuchsia pink, which goes really well with my skin. Which, because I'm a warm toned person, so any shade that's cool undertone just matches my undertone, matches the undertone of my skin and doesn't make me look really bad. So this is a whole new world for you guys. The song is just playing in my head. Now you guys have seen it for yourself. Why am I telling you that this shade flatters me a lot? Now I don't like wearing this shade like for an everyday wear. But I do love wearing it with like 
you know when i'm going out for a brunch wearing some white outfit and sometimes when uh, you know i just feel that my outfit or my makeup is just too plain and i don't pair it with a lot of heavy eye makeup because this shade is meant to stand by itself next the last and my favorite shade out of the entire collection is the shade in the name raja and i absolutely love this color this shade is a really nice deep plum color this suits um what can i just say about the shade it's such a perfect i would say mid on deep plum color that it suits my skin so well it's neither too deep you know making it look really vampy but it's the perfect kind of medium deep plum color this is raja for you guys you can see it's such a pretty plum shade i was so obsessed with this collection that even without looking at the description of the makeup or the shade i remember what shade this falls into if you guys have not bought this collection yet or shopped anything from this collection i would recommend just go ahead with the lip shades that i swatched if you guys haven't yet just run and get it and there you have it guys the swatches of the max disney aladdin collection lipsticks if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in another makeup video